What's up guys, Dennis Kozer here. In this video I want to show you how to make cloth material in Corona Render. It will be something like cotton and look like this. If you want more interesting videos, please subscribe on my channel, write some comments and give me likes. First of all, we need to create base Corona material. So just drag and drop it. Next we need to load up some textures. I will be use this simple texture. If you want you can download my scene and textures in the link below description. So we just assign this material to the fabric. Next. Let's begin interactive render and uh, see what's going on. I will change my camera view to closer view so it be much clear what's going on and here as you can see we have big tiling so I will decrease the size of texture by increasing tiling parameters so let's begin with 7x7 seven and uh, as for me it's it looks pretty well I will make this window bigger so you can better see the details as you can see it looks pretty well but uh, we can make it better so add the next texture and um, it will be bump map it looks like this and we put it in the bump slot now you can see that it's too strong so we need to make it lower and um, the texture size is too high we need to keep it like this so tiling must be 7x7 seven seven and um, the bump will be 0, 0.4 or 0, 0.5 for the different textures this parameter can be different it all depends on your taste You can use history to compare both variants, which will be better. Just store it and make some differences, then store another and you can compare them. Next, when we create the bump, we can add fell off map and I will just plug it by itself so you can see better what's going on this is pretty simple map we have fall off type and for the cloth material and for the corona materials we use only these three types so now we can compare towards way and perpendicular parallel so this one is much contrasty and stronger effect this is much 
software so you can choose which you prefer more as you can see we have now pretty contrast difference between shadows and lights and if I change it to towards away you can see that now it's less contrast and uh, you need to keep it in mind when we will work with the texture so if you want you can change the curves so in this case I want the fabric lighter on the edges and um, darker in the middle so I change this to Bezier corner and uh, change it like this so as you can see the dark area is much bigger now and um, we can plug the texture so by now we have only this texture without fall off working because both of these are working at 100 percent so I want the edges lighter and change this amount to maybe 50 and um, now follow of use 50 percent of white color and 50 percent of texture and uh, now as you can see we also have the differences here and here we can compare it with the perpendicular parallel and in this case it look better as for me so now we can go to the next camera I will stop it change to the first camera start interactive and now we can adjust the reflections to make it easier we can change the diffuse color to the black then turn off the diffuse texture and now turn on the reflection by changing this parameter by one now it's too strong too glossy so we decrease the glossiness to maybe zero four and now it's look like the fabric will reflect after that we can turn on the diffuse and um, see the nice result if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below give me some likes and subscribe on my channel to see the newest videos first see you next time bye